Well, it's good to know that you're not gonna just, you know, sit down and take it, Hollow. Hopefully you find a better job. Yeah, you did tell me that your tablet died. What kind of tablet was it? Was it like... Just like a... You know, kind of standard like Wacom tablet. It's like 60 or so dollars. That's, that's the one I have. I just got the cheapest one. And it works just fine. Or is it like one of those like fancier ones that uh, actually has like a screen and stuff? Oh right, the recap. So last time we finished off uh, the zoo, and now I'm poisoned. Now we need to figure out what to do next, except since we did, like, we tried to do that all stream last stream, I took a quick little peek at the guide, just for a little bit of a hint, nothing major, but apparently there's stuff back in Podunk that we have yet to do. So, Podunk is our next stop. Let's go! And what's next for you, Holo? Are you gonna try looking for a different, better job, or... Just gonna stay home? What are you gonna be doing? Like at um, at those two places. Like what what do they entail? Wait. So you'd like kind of become an electrician? That's pretty useful, I'd say. I don't know exactly what church's chicken is. Wait, you are an electrician? That is useful, so... I don't remember that conversation at all, I'm sorry. I just forgot. See you, Hollow. I mean, would you expect anything less, Marcus? I'm secretly doing it on purpose so we can, um, so we can get more use out of the uh, emotes that you made me because it's so cute. This face is kind of puzzled, isn't it? Although it could be also just like emotionless, like, yeah, whatever. Oh no! Oh, why? No, why did you do that to me? Now I can't unsee it! Oh no! How could you? Oh... <laughs> After... Hmm... 
This upsets me. <laughs> you really do be like question mark. Pet. Hello. No. No. Yippoo! Got the burb. <laughs> I'm glad that nothing actually happened. Don't even have one dollar to use the payphone. Payphones are like feel they feel like such a foreign concept now. Now that cell phones are just like the standard, you know. It's like wait a minute, you actually have to like put coins into the thing, and that's like how much time you had to talk in or whatever. It feels like payphones, like, nowadays are only used for, like, um, uh, avoiding, like, tapped lines. Are you- if, like, you're, like, on the run or something? And they're also really gross, so it would be, like, a, a last resort, you know, to use one. Okay, well, now that we have our canary, we can go do something with all the canaries north of Potung, I think. Like I said, I, I only took like a really quick glance at the, uh, at the guide. So I just knew that um, there was a canary we could get for free there. But I don't n necessarily know what to do with it, but there's like a big old group of canaries kind of sort of near the zoo, so... Since we have one of our own, maybe they can act like a translator or something. And that's what I'm gonna try and do next. Oh man, now that I'm trying to pay attention to how much EXP these things give you, I noticed that the, um, the results screen doesn't even give you, like, a straight amount. It just adds it to your total, so you have to, uh, do some maths and do the difference. I feel like this is, like, since this game is so cryptic, it would be, it would be, like, a great game to have, like, a strategy guide or, um, the manual for, because, like, they would often hide, like, a bunch of stuff in the manual, too, and, like, it didn't necessarily need to be, like, a full-on strategy guide. The manual usually gave you, like, tips and stuff. Um... But it feels like manuals and stuff are like a lost art now. Like, most games don't come with manuals anymore. 
Which is kind of sad, because I really liked, like, flipping through the manuals and, like, discovering stuff. Like, I remember the, the manual that I looked at the most was the one for Melee. And there was a point in time, um, when my GameCube broke, like, the, uh, the disc reader, um, the, um, not the disc reader, the, uh, the laser, uh, for the disc reader, um, it doesn't move anymore because the motor is broken. Um... So yeah, it, it doesn't work anymore because the motor is broken, so the, the disc doesn't spin. No, uh, I'm talking about like actual manuals. Yeah, the one that comes with the game. Well, that canary is the baby of singing Laura. Will you return baby to her? No, I will not. Yes, of course. Where's Laura? Um, hello, are you Laura? Oops, wrong thing. Actually. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, like, this is another thing that, um... That was cool, right? Wait, is this the Wii U manual, or...? Okay, yeah. But th that was that's another thing that is cool about, um... Virtual Console, is that it comes with a digital version of the original manual. Like, I was looking at the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon manual, um, yesterday for a little bit. And that's, like, super awesome, because that's, like, a way to actually preserve all these things in high quality. You sing, Laura? What about you? <laughs> Give. Perhaps you. Hello. Eat. I still love that that's a thing. They had to specify, um, like its own action for eat. And then you could just try to eat anything. Actually, let me look at the canary. Hello. Oh, it's sad. thinking about it, uh, the guy I got the canary from was talking about, um, all the animals escaping from the zoo. So, perhaps this little chick's mother is at the zoo, and not actually here in, like, these, like, canary woods or something. Just a hypothesis, but I'm pretty sure I've checked every single one of these birdies. And none of them were its mother. So, I think the next logical thing to do is go check the zoo. What about you? What do you say?
He just says the same thing. Pretty sure I checked you, but just to make sure. Okay. Oh, actually, look, there's one over there. <laughs> I almost uh, didn't see that one. Let's go. Let's go talk to her. Don't know why they would be like wandering around outside where it's unsafe. Yeah, find random enemies out here. Oh, can't go through that way. Oh no, how do I get over there? Oh. Stop distracting me. I'm on an important mission to return this baby to its mom. Kind of like in um, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, with that like cute little extra side mission that's in some of the levels where you have to return all the duckies to the mom. Take that. I feel like they're gonna pull like a joke. Yeah, like I still can't get over there. What the heck? They're gonna like pull a joke where it's like, oh, that canary is just across the wall. It'll be easy to go get her. And then you have to like go like five bajillion miles all the way around. Look, see, that's exactly what's happening here. It's pretty hilarious, but also kind of mean. Why would you make me do this? I only read a teeny tiny bit of it. Because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to know too much. Because I still want to, you know, play the game for myself. Little saucer. Shirley? Who's Shirley? Who's Shirley? And why does she know her way? Oh, she probably left breadcrumbs like uh, Hansel and Gretel. Wow, that's a huge increase in PP. Did you do anything interesting today, Marcus? Are you shopping around for a new tablet now that your other one is broken? Or are you doing like... Are you, are you drawing like with the mouse now? And getting like a super cramp. Cramp 2. I don't know how people can do that. Especially when the drawing turns out to be actually like, good. Wait, you did? Oh, I must have not heard it. I was falling asleep last night. Hmm. 
Alright, I'm gonna look at the guide again. Okay, okay, I see how it is. I know what to do now. And the crazy thing is that I actually found... actually found, um, the solution to this, like, two streams ago. Or at least one stream ago. I just didn't think of anything of it. And I guess I forgot. Whoops. Your self restraint is admirable, Marcus. I just forgore. That's what happened. I found this thing. Like, like I said, I found this thing like a stream or two ago. I was like investigating the grave. And it's like, huh? Can do a thing here. Do you think that this game needs a remake? I think it does. Oh. Let me through. Right, it's this way. No, that's surprising. I totally think it does. here and it's like hmm there's like question mark question mark question mark oh okay I remember okay Laura was standing right here and I checked or like I talked and that's why it gave me like dot 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 wow but I, I couldn't go through because I couldn't press up to go through because she was blocking the way wow Laura. Here you go, Bobby. This canary is singing. And that's all she says to us? Okay. There's nothing else around here. I thought it was Melody 3. 
because we got the first one from the, like, creepy baby doll, right? And we got the second one from the monkey. So the third one from Laura the canary, right? Oh, oops, did I actually do that out of order? Monkeys 3? Wow. Amazing. Well, now there's the shell in the uh, in the north. It's like whose tail has lost? That's why. Oh. That's why I named the stream Tail Tail, because we're probably gonna learn something about the tail. I'm pretty sure that leads to magic ants, so. Hello? Let's talk to the mayor again. Hello. Well, he's not very helpful. I feel like there's more to do in the cemetery. Because we didn't actually solve the problem of, like, zombies, you know? And going all the way north just kind of leads to Cliff. Oh, well, let me, let me check out this area. School starts up again for me, um... Um, on Monday. Hopefully it's gonna be an easy class. There's only one, so... Even if it's not super easy, the workload is probably gonna be very small. Compared to what I'm normally used to. Wait, is there a Starman Jr. in, um, in the cemetery as well? Or, or the, are you talking about the one, um, at the zoo? Because I didn't fight a Starman Jr. at the cemetery. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Let me take a quick peek at the guys. Just a tiny one. Just a teeny itty bitty one. Saw the monkey.
Ah, okay. I see. So, for the next leg of our journey, we actually have to have our grandfather's diary with us. That's kind of an unfortunate thing uh, to require, because... I, uh, I deposited it with, um, with one of my sisters, so they can just, like, hold on to it and stuff, because it was just taking up space, and <laughs> there was, like, no use for it, even though I read it or whatever. So now you have to go get it. Ooh. Are taking classes at the um the upcoming quarter, Marcus? You probably already answered this like a couple weeks ago, but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot again. It feels really nice to be able to defeat Wally in a single hit after dying to him multiple times in a row. Take that, Wally. You're nothing to me now. Yup. Might as well save, or heal then save, now that I'm here. Because I don't care what you can. That way if someone beats me up, they'll be wasting their time. Perfect plan. Never mind the fact that they might just get even more aggressive because I didn't have any monies on me. Broke. Oh no. No monies. Nintendo has no Bitcoin. I've heard, um, not too long ago that the, the price of, like, a lot of cryptocurrency is, like, taking a huge hit right now. It's, like, kind of tanking. And pretty much everyone is happy because that means that people can finally get their hands on, like, some, some computer parts. I really need to start thinking about upgrading myself as well. Not myself. I'm not a robot. Smile. Um, but my PC. Because I was looking at the uh, minimum spec requirements for Sonic Frontiers, and the minimum uh, GPU is a 1060, and I have a 1070, which is like one step up from that. So it's like, the power creep is finally catching up to me, man.
yes, it's finally time. Because I got this PC like, what, five years ago about? It was like 2017, 2018-ish. The good part is, um, my brother wants a PC, so he can just use my old, my old stuff. Because a 1070 is still pretty decent. Oh my god, I took one step and ran into another enemy. Please, let me walk in peace. I just want to strut my stuff. Show off my new uh, Air Jordans. <laughs> Nintendo's just completely dripped out as he goes to save the world. Steal his look. You'll be broke. speaking into Nintendo's mind. Nintendo felt this question enter his mind. Who has lost his tail? Under the entry in Great Grandfather's diary, Nintendo read out loud, The Forgotten One, the ship that sails the cosmos. Yippoo! Look, we're in Magic Ant now. Hi. I am a swimming cat. Have you heard of a magic candy that gives strength and power to a helpless child? No. I see, but you are not helpless, so you don't need it. <laughs> okay. What a good cat. Hello. You have like a witch hat? You're a strange person, but for some reason, I like you. Hello. My, what strange clothing you are. Surely monsters will come after those clothes. I am so embarrassed, I wish I could crawl into a hole. Wait, is she embarrassed because of our clothes? More to the south. Are you lost? Sorry, I was directing you to the restroom. Queen Mary's Fountain is west of the castle. The mysterious sound of the fountain soothes. No, no, for a second, Gar uh, for a second there, I actually uh, mistook east for west. Never eat soggy waffles. Never eat soggy waffles. I am the mysterious goods keeper. You have a need? Oh, this is just like our sister. Goodbye, be careful. I wish I could go into the castle to see Queen Mary. Hey, that's what I'm gonna do. I am the mysterious mimicker. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Interdimensional, um, 
bank transfer. This is like the best bank in existence. I wonder what their uh, interest rates are. I am taking this broken earring to the fountain. I'll bet it'll change into a magic earring. Oh, you know, now that I look, <laughs> I thought that their hair was their hands, so they're like doing like a, you know, like kind of shrugging thing. Like all the time, like a, like a W with their arms and their body, right? So they were like, hmm, I don't know, I guess I'm a witch. Like a pointy hat. But that's actually their hair. You can see their actual hands. Um, when they turn to the side. What do you have to say? Pull out a red weed and place it into the fountain. It will turn into the magic herb. Oh, red weed. So that means... Resident Evil. If you need the benevolent old man, go to Queen Mary's Fountain for his help. He will hear your soulful cry and come to help. Soulful cry. Remember, soulful cry. That's kind of creepy. Would you like me to give you the big bag? No. It holds 30 magic herbs. Yes. No. You don't trust anyone. That may be a good attitude. Possibly. Sure, take all my money. I don't have any anyway. I'm used to roughing it. Sure, here you go. Thank you. Sure, sure, I'll return it to you. I thought it looked pretty cool. Oh, that's right. After I have to return your cash card. I gave you the big bag. A gift for you. Oh my gosh. Imagine not talking to him again. And you just leave and he keeps your cash card. And you can't withdraw any monies for the rest of the game. I wonder if that can actually happen. Knowing the, um... I guess non-linearity um, that I just like kind of discovered with um, with doing like the three or getting the third song or whatever for the second one that might have actually been a thing oh is this a really good place for grinding there's squished Kirby's everywhere. They make up the floor, you see? <laughs> Someone got the uh, the clone stamp tool and just uh, had a grand old time. In a bad dream, Magicanta vanished into thin air. My heart is still pounding so hard. Ah, okay, so level 18 is around where I should be with, um, my party members, huh? The Ocarina of Hope is finally completed. Its melody can flow out from it. Do you want it? Sure. You're a pretty straight-looking dude. Go ahead. Well, these people trust me a lot. And I guess I trust them, because I did give some random guy I just met my ATM card, where all my monies was. Deep in the woods is a guitar player who is a hermit. Not that bad looking of a man. Most of all, he's quite a poet. Outside? A world outside? What do you mean? There's no exit from a place like a magic hand. Uh. Have you met a man who says that you cannot part with someone you have not met? No. Nope. You should meet him. Yep. 
yes. I tend to think the same way too. Man, there's a lot of houses here. Are you bothered that unhappiness and misfortune search you out? No. Not right. Trouble searches after you. Hmm, that's too bad. Yes. If you desire to never find trouble, stay home. Wow, that's great. That's some pretty good advice. That's you. I don't believe it. Stranger, I can tell you're not from this place. I'm not. Yeah, I just forgore a lot because I have uh, my own stuff to worry about. Like, not thinking. Have you met the man who practices philosophy? No. In the first place, if we have not met, we cannot part. He's so good at nicknaming. He uses such good taste in it. I bent my spoon, and it's hard to use it like this. Do you think somehow you could fix it for me? Sure. Please fix it right away. Thanks a million. Would you like to spend the night here? Sure. That's good. New free heal. First fixing a spoon. Please come again. Promising me you'll come again. What was the name of the dude who, like, tried to, um, like, get a lawsuit onto Nintendo and Game Freak for, like, Kadabra? Or not Kadabra. Was it Kadabra? I think it was Alakazam. It was like, oh, look, I can bend spoons with my minds. This is, like, trademarked. What are you doing? You can't do that. Yeah, the magician. Whoa, tacos. I want tacos. Manchikant is a very hospitable place. At least so far. Yeah, if you want, we can, um, we can, like, get in the call after the stream, just chill out, wind down. This was to be a musical instrument store, but the ocarina that we ordered never arrived, so I've given up. Oh, no. Make sure I have one, Lexi. No, oh, is he? I don't remember. That's the song! Uh-oh. Obia Studio disconnected. What to heck is going on with OBS? Test, test, test. I 
again. Butt munch. Well, that sucks. Butt munch? Did you hear that one? I said it twice now. Nice. So you heard that one. Tell me if you tell me if you hear this. Tell me if you see this too. I ate so much fucking shit on the fourth of July. I said I wouldn't, but then I did, and I totally fucked up my diet, and now I'm paying for it by working out in a hundred fucking degree weather. I hate my fucking life. I hate myself so much. Why the fuck did I do that? Okay, so I guess you heard of that. So we're back. Great. OBS just disconnected like, what, three times in a row now? Man, the new OBS update sucks. It also took away my hotkey for, um, for muting my microphone and um, also muting game audio. I can still do this. This is still this one um still works. Or yeah, this one still works. Yeah, so that still works. It's just like um stuff that's actually integrated into OBS or stuff that was actually integrated into OBS doesn't work anymore. It's like you're um, what is it, like, you're up, your drivers are outdated. Please delete them. What are you staring at? Your magicant is just like the outside world. Just leave me some cash, and 
Then with the goods you can dash. Peace coin. Magic coin. Protect coin. One word. Protect coin. Are you sure you don't need that? Welcome again. You know what it is? This is the sprite version of the Running Man from Ocarina of Time. I'm gonna get you. Shopkeepers, I guess. A young key face. I've never heard of anything like that. Uh oh. <gasps> Eyes. What you looking? What you looking at? What the heck? I thought... What? Okay. I thought this was like, um... You know, the dirt. And over here was the sky. But nope, there's just like, what, some bushes flying out over here? Hello. And this looks like, um... <laughs> this looks like we're like going, um, out of bounds. Oh, I guess that's the sky then. Weird. Oh no! Woody! Except, now he's literally wood. Pretty sure this guy explodes. Because that's just the mother trend. Better watch out. the um one of the people in the houses said that I could put it in the fountain for like a magic herb with the big bags in my inventory wait a minute that doesn't make any sense Confused. He's so confused. <laughs> Nintendo dodged his own attack. That's amazing. I love that that can happen. It's like dodging your own punch. Like, phew. Please die already. So, Nintendo doesn't have any offensive PSI then, right? Like you said, uh, like a stream or two ago.
Rabe Yid. He's so happy. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's like a gummy bear. Smile. Kind of wild that the strongest enemy here, or at least the strongest enemy that I've seen, is just a tree. If they had more of those, they could take over the planet. It'd be like, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, except with the trees. he because the uh, the green ones are obviously apple like green apple oh I guess they're the mystery flavor like the dum-dums you know those lollipops I'm pretty sure the white ones were always like the mystery flavor which was I learned later that uh, that was like all the extra stuff that they um, that they had you know, left over when they made, um, all the original, like, flavors. They just had, like, a bunch of extra product, so they just, like, instead of wasting it, they would put it all in one barrel or whatever and, uh, just make the mystery flavor. Just a hodgepodge of random stuff. Now you're making me want airheads, too. You said jungle candy, and I immediately thought of, um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The weird, like, Johnny Depp one, where, like, Willy Wonka has, like, a machete and he's, like, cutting bugs in the, in the jungle and, like, eating their insides. I'm pretty sure airheads are still kind of common. Just gotta go into the candy section and take a good gander at the selection. Of course, I am a non-singing monkey. Normal monkeys don't sing. Anyway, any questions? Yes. Anyhow, questions are so ridiculous. You never see them. Just look harder. Someone told me about a man that everyone forgot about, but I don't remember who. Why are you swimming in the ground? <laughs> Hello? Yes, I am the cat who swims on the ground. Guess what is in my hand? Hello. Oh, I didn't hear you come in. That guitar playing is so loud. I can't even think. What? I was playing the guitar myself? I should have known. And the story I tell to you now is a real secret. When you become really strong, come see me. You'd better write this down so you don't forget. I know if I don't write things down, I forget. Okay, if you say so. I'm going back to the whole candy thing, though. Um, I feel like top tier candy is just like those peach rings and just like orange slices, you know? 
It's really not anything complicated, but it's so good. It's so addicting. I feel like they're always left out of the conversation. And then there's also like the variety pack of the, um, not only the orange slices, but also like lemon slices and stuff. That's also really good. <laughs> Do you want to go get some Tootsie Pops and Airheads later? I could drive us. I'm down. I like sugary things. Mom's eyes? Oh no. You're looking. Take that. Double black eyes. Dad's eyes? That's impossible. Dad doesn't exist. Kind of funny how the eyebrows go first when you defeat them. So the sprite um, kind of deloads or whatever. And it looks like someone shaves the eyebrows before they get defeated. Oh, nice. New Psy power. No, right, we can't check it here. We have to be in battle for it to actually show up. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Uh-oh. Why is he to the side? This is a bad omen. <gasps> oh no! Look! It's the white teddy bear! Watch out! I'm gonna run away. Sorry. Okay. Magic snail? Oh no. We should just coat our body in, in salt. It'll be the ultimate defensive mechanism. Wait, you've never seen the lemon slices? Yeah, they're there. It's in the, uh, the variety pack. Next time we hang out, I'll bring you, um, I'll bring you some, like, variety pack stuff. Lemon slices. There's also blue slices in there. I don't know what that is. That's like, what, blueberry slices? If a blueberry was like an orange? <laughs> Blue flavor. My favorite. I wonder if there's like a scientist out there who really wants to make like blue oranges or something. But they can't because it's not within their like funding stuff, you know? But you can't be wasting money on like blue oranges or whatever. Although they did make a glow-in-the-dark cat. 
So, I don't know. I don't know what practical purpose that has besides being cool. Imagine not abusing science. No, I'm being beaten by a snail. How humiliating. I don't even have to imagine dying to a snail. I am dying to a snail. Somebody help. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the snail is punching me so hard with its one foot. It's a foot punch. <laughs> he took my lunch money too. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how are you doing, Kirby? How was your week? Hopefully the worst of it is behind you. It's also been a little bit stressful for me since I'm going to be starting up school again on Monday. Oh, moving. Yeah, moving can definitely be stressful. Don't forget anything. I did that a lot. I used to have like these little like um Mario and Yoshi keychains that I got in elementary school for like being a good boy TM and getting like the uh the good kid like slip, you know. But they just kind of disappeared. I'm pretty sure it's because my dad threw it away, but it might have also been because I just forgot it. Forgot a bunch of other stuff. Moving can definitely be, um, pretty exciting though, too. Cause it's like, moving into a new place. Just like the, um, the feel of it, you know? It's like when you get, like, a new phone or something. And, um, it feels... It feels strange. Cause it's like a different size or, or shape or something. I'm gonna eat hamburger. I need hamburger. Oh yeah, decorating is fun. What kind of, um, collectibles do you have? Do you have, like, um... Plush toys. I have a lot of those. Maybe amiibo and posters. Those are pretty good too. Especially when you get poster cases. But those are actually really expensive. Yeah. 
Yes. What kind of Pokemon do you have? pretending to be the phone. I don't think I've actually ever seen a Raichu plushie. It's all like Pikachu and Pichu. So having a uh, a Raichu is pretty cool. Heracross is a really cool bug type. Skip that. It's pretty neat to know. anymore. Hello. Okay, yeah, this is the musical, or, well, supposed to be the musical interest, instrument store. Is it this one? I am the mysterious goods keeper. Okay. It's one of these houses. Yes, okay. Finally. Mimicker. It's quite a big leap. We need a lot of experience now. Because these enemies, like, well, enemies in general, I guess, in this game, really don't give a lot of EXP out. Like, only a couple. Like, three. Seven. Stuff like that. Or at least, um, the enemies that we've so far encountered. Let's go! Uh-oh. This guy's gonna call the other gummy bear. Oh, look, we can increase our speed now. I'm gonna try and actually fight it, see how strong it really is. Stinky... Gummy bear. Oh, never mind, he didn't even have a chance to call his partner.
There's the non singing monkey. And the land swimming cat. And the guitar man. Groucho from Sesame Street. Oh, okay. That's a thing, I guess. There's something named Groucho. That thing didn't really seem to be very grouchy. probably at least try to make our way um, to the fountain in the was it west or uh, Queen Mary's castle is also it's either west or south it's one of those but if I go southwest I'll probably uh, run into it eventually I don't think it's east Oh no! Tree! There's two... There's two trees in, in this one. There's like the big tree. There's like a, a stump. Big ol' stump of like... I don't know, a redwood or something. And then there's a smaller tree. We're just kind of jamming out. Mokujin. Is that like some kind of tree spirit or something? I don't even feel like fighting this big guy. It takes too long. Hello? Is this a well? No problem. Talk? This is kind of a hole in the ground. Not much. Oh, there's many holes. Whee! Let's wander over them carelessly. And what do you know, indeed? I hate getting those ads now. Since I, uh, I I listen to music as I work, right? So for eight hours, it's just like the same ads over and over again. I only like one of them, which is the the like a gas jingle one, you know. But I also get like a bunch of Indeed ads, and it's super annoying. Sarah's food truck is popping off. She needs indeed. Indeed you do. Not sponsored, by the way. Don't come, like, kick my door down, indeed. Not that they would ever see this, but you never know. Oh, that's a good idea. I should probably get a bigger micro SD card for my phone. All my memory is being used up by, like, cute cat videos. I should probably also archive those. Like, put them on my PC. 
to free up space. Or Google Drive. That's something I actually kind of don't really use anymore. And they are, because they're so cute. They bring me happiness. Yeah, I definitely need to get a um, a new SSD. My current one is only like 255 gigabytes. So um, I try to keep programs on there to like a minimum, like only stuff I really could use, you know, having the, um, the extra speed. You can't share that. Isn't the saying is like whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Who knows what that rat Pikmin did in Vegas? Oh maybe you got married in Vegas. That happens a lot, I'm pretty sure. Yes, okay, we were on the same wavelength. I don't think you did, but I also didn't remember um, you talking about the uh, the tablet or your schooling, so I might have just forgotten. My head is filled with like a bunch of stuff at the moment. Oh, let me look at this as I kill this tree. The beautiful, uh, the beautiful thing. Um about uh, this being on the Wii U is that I can pull up stuff on the PC like um, on my uh, desktop where usually I would be looking at the video and um, I can still see what's how, uh, what's going on in the game amazing <laughs> big mean These are great. I love this. Oh, I think this one is my favorite. This is a very good angle. Welcome to Las Vegas. Look at this fella. Ooh. He mean... <laughs> That's him. What are you looking at? That's a great smile. Very photogenic. There's a bunch of holes here in the ground, but I don't exactly know what to do with them. So I'm just gonna poke my nose around a little bit more, and if I can't figure out what to do in like, what, 10 minutes or something? There's still like half an hour left in this uh, segment, by the way. 
So like, yeah, 10 or so minutes. Me poking around. And, uh, I'll take another peek at the guide. And just so we're not here all day, and this this stream like series doesn't become like like a Skyward Sword or or Pokemon like what almost twenty parts for both of those? I think Pokemon went over over twenty. I think or it might have gotten close. Yeah, I I don't want to, I guess, prolong it any any further than I have to though, because most of it is just going to be me running around not do knowing what to do and just fighting enemies. So that could get uh, kind of boring, you know. I don't want to drag it on. Also, because um, it's you know becoming spooky month. It's what almost September. We're like what about halfway through. Or, it's almost October, excuse me. We're about halfway through September, uh, you know. So I want to start a spooky game. At least I'll get a, I guess, decent amount of XP from these tree guys. Get out of here. They're like Sudowoodoo's twice removed cousin. And they got a bus cut too. Look at their, uh, look at their heads. Punch you in the face. Take that. aspect of food that you don't hear about too much. The sound of the food. You know, if if my food isn't like playing me Beethoven's like sixth symphony, then I don't want any part of it. Actually unedible. Or inedible, whichever you prefer. I was actually about to bring that up. They're like, how do you know that the bread is ready? Not the taste, not the smell, not the look, but the sound. And that crunch. Oof. I'm 
Yeah. If if my like if my food isn't like doing a like perfect rank in like Mario DDR, I don't want it. Exactly. I don't think I've actually been to a place to have a dinner in a show, though. When I get my dinner, I like to go to my room and just, like, hang out in my room. And just, like, sit. And, like, watch YouTube videos and stuff. So I guess in that aspect, it's a dinner and a show. But I wouldn't want to do that in public. Because I just want to focus on my food. Well, when I'm in public. But when I'm home, I want to be comfy. I also don't like it when um, there's like people around me to watch me eat, because it's like, um, can you look someplace else? It's like when a dog bag is right. It's like, stop looking at me. <laughs> this is my food. Alright, let me take a, look, take a peek at the guide. Beep. This, this. Mm hmm. Okay, so I guess we can just um, level up and explore a bit because apparently the enemies here are going to get just even tougher. So, you know, I can, I can probably do that off stream. I don't think just like um, me doing a grind fest on the stream would be particularly interesting. And it'll mean that I get to log off earlier. So I can just do that off stream while I like do something else. And that way we can also get to Pikmin 2 a little bit earlier. So I'll just like kill this magic snail whose shell looks remarkably like one of those, you know, Spearmans that you see during Christmas time, They're like swirly mins, and then we'll just switch over to Pikmin too. There we go, about on time. Anyway, thanks for watching Mother One slash Earthbound Zero slash Earthbound Beginnings. This game has many names. Um, but yeah, I'll be back after a BRB with some Pikmin 2, and hopefully this time we can actually beat the boss and keep collecting some treasures. So, don't go anywhere. <laughs>